Hello everyone, today we are going to be sp expanding on micromagnets. A micromagnet is a 2.5 millimeter magnetic sphere. If you can see my US penny here, that right there is a micromagnet. Okay, we are going to make a magnetic sphere today. So you're going to line your magnets up into a very long strand, like so. And then you're going to take nine of the micromagnets, so three, six, nine. You're going to make it into a ball. And then you're going to apply pressure with three of your fingers like this to make a triangle. Once you have a triangle, you just need to continually make these until you have 20. So here again, I'll show you how to make one. Take nine of your micromagnets. Make it into a ball, life force on three sides. Nope. Get yourself a triangle, and you need to make 20 of these. So I'm going to make a time lapse shot of me making 20 of these tiny triangles. Okay, so after you get your 20, you're going to divide them into two sections. So, one section of 10, you need to leave completely separate. And then this section of 10 right here that I have in front of me, you're just going to um, just going to put them together and do a long line. So, if you can see individual triangles of 10, there's 10 individual triangles right here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, after you've made your long line, which may take a second because opposing fields make this very difficult sometimes, which is why I ended up having to edit a lot of this. Um, so, then you're going to take three of your triangles, and grab them here for a second. Take three of these, and you're going to basically do the same thing. Okay, so not do that. That's what I'm talking about, the opposing fields. When you don't have them correct, when you, the opposing fields aren't correct, then they just completely obliterate each other. So put this one back together, flip it up, and there we go. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna take the set of three and connect it to the 10, the set of 10. Just like that, that'll work. Then you're gonna drag another individual one over and you're going to stack it on top of this one right here. So just like so. Grab another individual one. And you are going to put it down here. Like so. Then you're going to flip flop it and do it on this side. So grab another three magnets to, as long as they don't stick together. Three and separate them if they stuck together while I'm moving them. Do the same thing. Put them together. And instead of putting them on top, you're gonna put them on bottom. So like I have to flip it over. Like so. Got another individual magnet. Okay, so then you're gonna take this one right here, and place it here. Then you're gonna take your last one, the last one out of the 20. My last one happens to be deformed, so go ahead and form it back up and place it there. Okay, this is the hard part of the challenge. I've already messed this up once and had to go through the whole process of making these magnets again, which is not fun if you wanted to know. So the idea is just to let it collapse on itself. And there you go. Wow, that actually worked. I was just a little worried there for a second that it was going to deform. But no, this is your sphere, people, ladies and gentlemen. It spins. That actually kind of looks cooler on camera than it does in real life. Like, way cooler on camera than it does in real life. Okay, anyway. 
After you have this done, there's only one more step. If you're brave enough to do it. It's the most satisfying thing you've ever felt. You're just going to squish it. It's so satisfying. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I don't know if I can get my giant hand on that. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. And uh, peace, peace out, guys. Uh, see you next time.